What's going on everybody? So what I got here today uh, is something I couldn't find a review on YouTube um, or any of the EV blogs or anything like that <clears throat> for a really cheap uh, easy to get function generator and something that's relatively accurate. So what I have here is this FG100 DDS uh, function generator that I picked up off eBay. Uh, it was 22 bucks, took about three weeks to get here. Um, and I've used it for a couple weeks uh, and it's worked out pretty well uh, and surprisingly accurate which we'll look at here in a second. Uh, one of the coolest things I thought um, that it had is the power cable for it. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So it's got a power cable, it's just got a, uh, a barrel jack on one side and then it's got a USB connection on the other so it plugs into your computer. But uh, if you own most of the Rigol uh, DS1000 series scopes, like my 1054Z, uh, it's got a USB port in the front, and so you can plug it right into the front, and then it powers on and off with your scope. You don't have to turn uh, the function generator on and off. When you turn your scope off, it turns off by itself. So uh, we'll get it uh, set up here in just a second, check its accuracy. It does uh, sine wave, square wave, triangle wave, sawtooth and re-sawtooth um, and it's supposed to be up to a hundred uh, kilohertz so we'll check can't go up that high but we'll check it about as high as the scope will go so we'll uh, get started here we'll set it on sine wave we'll move our cursor over and we'll start at a hundred hertz and then we hit start and then we'll hit auto on our scope and pretty nice looking sine wave um, down here I don't know how well you can see it I'll get my camera to focus um, the frequency is 99.6 99.6 to uh, 100 Hertz which is in a, a pretty small percentage of what it's supposed to be so relatively accurate on the low end uh, this function generator has an amplitude knob on the side and that's how you can increase and decrease the amplitude. As you increase and increase the amplitude, the frequency stays the same, uh, which you're changing as the rise time. And then it also has a DC offset, which allows you to move it up and down the scope. Uh, so if you have a couple different signals going on on your scope, you can get it to match uh, without it getting out of range. So we'll stop it there and we'll move our cursor over. We'll set it to say 2000 hertz and click start, click auto. So as we can see we got a little bit of jitter in the waveform. See if I can get this zoomed in here. So not too too bad, uh, just slight ripples kind of up and down the sine wave. Um, it's done that for a while and I think it has to do with this uh, BNC to BNC cable that they sent with the function generator. Um, I think it's relatively low quality. I probably need to get a higher quality cable to get that noise out of there. Um, but for most people's purposes that are going to be using a $20 function generator, uh, it, it probably shouldn't cause any kind of issue. So we'll stop that and then we'll switch over to square wave and see what that looks like. So not too too bad. Not perfectly uh, the, the rise times are not perfect um, but again it, it's a $20 function generator. And so we'll check the triangle wave change our amplitude so not terribly bad either got a little bit of jitter in there but again I think that's coming from the cable and we'll check the sawtooth 
So that looks pretty good. Still got a little bit of jitter in there, but again, I think it's the cable. And then the resaw tooth, which is the backwards saw tooth. Um, so it looks pretty good there too. So overall, it's been a decent little functional generator. I mean, it, it's 20 bucks. You really can't build one for cheaper than that. Um, and you obviously can't get any high level of precision uh, out of a $20 function generator. But if you do Arduino projects or you do just kind of these homebrew projects um, and you just need a simple uh, kind of multifunction function generator uh, to get you either an input into your electronics at a specific frequency um, or you can use it as a comparator, hooking it up to your digital oscilloscope and then hooking your scope up to whatever project you're working on so you have kind of a baseline um, and you can use it as a comparator for what your project's putting out versus what the function generator is putting out. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, post them down below. Again, this is the uh, FG100 DDS. Uh, picked it up on eBay. They're pretty synonymous. Um, you know, you can get them for, I think I paid about 22 bucks from it from China. Uh, and overall, it's, it's served me pretty well for what it is. I don't need anything high end. You know, I work on uh, kind of small homebrew projects myself. So this worked out good for me and it was cheap. So if you have any questions, post them below. Uh, if not, we'll see you next time.